The House January 6th committee holding its final summer hearing last week, but the investigation into the insurrection continues. Today, the panel released new video, and President Biden sounded off on the former president's actions. Shannon Halligan is here with details. Shannon. Well, an original script for Donald Trump's speech the day after the Capitol insurrection included several lines that were apparently crossed out by Trump himself. It's part of the latest evidence revealed by House investigators today. There's a new video just released by the House January 6th panel. Virginia Congresswoman Elaine Luria tweeted out the three-minute and 40-second video. In it, investigators questioned former White House aides and members of Donald Trump's family. A screenshot shows former President Trump's speech on January 7th with notes and several lines Trump wanted deleted. As you can see throughout the document, there are lines crossed out, there are some... Um, there's some words uh, added in. Do you recognize the handwriting? It looks like my father's handwriting. This speech appeared to include a line ordering the Department of Justice to ensure all lawbreakers be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Another line stating the rioters, quote, do not represent me, was also never spoken during the speech. Do you know why he wanted that crossed out? Uh, I don't know. The committee investigating the Capitol riot released the additional materials in an effort to push out even more evidence after eight summer hearings. Now there are reports former chief of staff to former Vice President Mike Pence testified before a federal grand jury investigating the assault on the Capitol. That's according to reports by CNN. Mark Short was with the vice president as he fled his post presiding over the Senate and hid from rioters on January 6th speared, sprayed, stomped on, brutalized, and lives were lost. President Joe Biden slammed former President Trump during a speech Monday. Speaking remotely to the National Organization of Black Law Enforcement Executives, President Biden said law enforcement officers were attacked and assaulted while the former president watched it all happen. The police were heroes that day. Donald Trump lacked the courage to act. The brave women and men in blue all across this nation should never forget that. You can't be pro-insurrection and pro-cop. You can't be pro-insurrection and pro-democracy. You can't be pro-insurrection and pro-American. Members of the January 6th committee say the investigation continues and they will hold more hearings in the fall. All right, thank you, Shannon.